Hey, what's good, Charger? Welcome back. Um, today's lesson, we're still sticking with baseball, and we're going to do a throwing lesson um, slash pitching lesson, all right? So I'm going to teach you how to properly throw. Uh, I'm going to teach you how to do a wind-up if you want to practice pitching. And I'll show you how to do the softball underhand throw also, okay? So um, throwing, throwing, throwing. I know I did a video last year on how to throw, so we can review that. Um, I'll go over some of that same stuff um, plus some additional stuff, okay? So that's it. Uh, throwing lesson. If you have a tennis ball, that would be great. Um, if not, your sock balls or your paper balls, you can make one. Um, if you don't have a partner, just get a wall. I have a wall right here, so I'm just going to be throwing against the wall. The ball will be bouncing back to me, so if you have a partner, you can just throw it back and forth with your partner. Um, practice that way, but like I said, if you don't, just find a wall and a tennis ball or a bouncy ball, a small ball. We're using the small balls, not a bigger one. Um, and you can do the lesson this way, okay? And this lesson can benefit all students, okay? So TK through five. Um, there might be some pointers in here that will be good for all grade levels, okay? Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna do a little exercising, stretching out, um, and then we'll go over how to properly throw and do a wind-up pitch and an underhand throw, okay? So um, because we're gonna be doing a lot of throwing, let's stretch our arms real quick, okay? So cross the chest, count to 10, one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Other way, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, shake it out. Um, let's do our triceps. Pull your shoulder back, I mean your elbow back behind your head. Count to ten. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Feel the stretch. You should feel it right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Shake it out. Shake it out. Shake it out. All right. Let's do the camel stretch. Ten seconds. Go. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Um, like I said, we're gonna do a lot of throwing, so we want to make sure we get our arms and upper body stretched out. Another arm stretch that you can do is simply if you have something to grab, even a wall. Okay, all we're doing is pushing against this. Okay, just like you feel it, and it's gonna stretch all this right here okay so just grab a wall and you can press against it and push your shoulder forward okay 10 seconds one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and you can do it this way one two three four five six seven eight nine ten all right so we're simply just putting our hand on the wall and we're pressing forward this way and it'll stretch out that okay um so there we go our arms should be pretty stretched let's go ahead and we'll do a few leg stretches and a couple warm-ups and then we'll get started okay um let's do our quads 10 seconds go one two three four five six seven eight, nine, ten. Other way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's do our growing. Lean to the right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Other way. One, two three four five six seven eight nine ten and let's do right over left one two three four 
Go ahead, we'll warm up and do a couple exercises, okay? Uh, let's just do 20 jumping jacks. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. All right, shake it out, shake it out. Um, let's do 20 crisscrosses, okay? 20 crisscrosses. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. All right, rest a little bit. Um, last one, we'll do scissor kicks and then we'll go ahead and start, all right? All right, ready? 20 scissor kicks, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eight. 19, 19, 20. Alright, so we should be good and loose. Um, muscles stretched out and ready to rock this lesson, okay? Um, so I'm just going to start off without a properly throw for the first part. Um, it's going to be good for everyone. Remember, if you're right-handed, uh, we're always going to step with our opposite foot, so we're going to step with our left foot. If you're left-handed, you're going to be stepping with your right foot. Um, I like to teach you to start with your foot back, so it teaches you to bring it forward. So once again, if you are right-handed, I want you to put your right foot forward, put the ball in your right hand, and when we go to throw, we're going to take a giant step forward with our opposite foot okay not just a half a step I don't want you to step to here we're not just I need you to so you're bringing your opposite leg all the way from the back of your body all the way taking one step um, forward and throwing it that way okay so Rule number one, especially for my younger students, TKK first. Sorry, I'm a little winded still from all those exercises. I think I need a minute. Um, but yeah, for my younger students, most important thing, st uh, step with your opposite foot, rule number one, okay? Don't step with the same foot so it doesn't look like this. Not this, but this, see? big difference in how it looks and big difference in how hard you'll be able to throw the ball okay if you're stepping with the off, uh, same foot you're not going to get a, a lot of velocity on your pitch which means you're not going to get a lot of strength and it's not going to go very fast okay so step with the opposite foot rule number one all right next thing we want to remember is to keep our arm tucked into our body okay so our arm should be in our body not way out here away from our body okay so we're always arm it's kind of close to our body okay can't throw it like this all right elbow body in tucked into our body okay so opposite foot arm a little tucked in closer to our body not way out here um, and the ball should be coming by our ear all right when we throw it see that ball is next to my ear okay 
that way out here next to my ear um, and then the last part our second to last part is just our arm works like a lever okay from my elbow to my this part right here it's the only part that's moving okay so elbow ball by my ear it's coming just like a lever okay um, and when you release it the ball should become spinning off your fingertips okay uh, you don't want to palm it you know where it just comes straight out of your palm the ball will slide off your fingertips and that will give you some spin on the ball which can also help create some movement which can make it harder for the batter to hit okay if you're pitching all right so arm works like a lever ball by your ear comes that's where it comes and it spins off your fingertips okay so once again right-handed people right foot in front left foot back giant step forward keep your arm tucked in ball goes by your ear arm works like a lever and the ball spins off your fingertips so ready this is what it will all look like step okay forward again throw the ball up here just so you remind yourself to keep it up here step forward all right once again back here you can hold it down here and then practice bringing it up step forward by my ear arm working like a lever off my fingertips all right so step with the opposite foot keep your arm tucked in ball goes by your ear arm works like a lever and then the ball spins off your fingertips okay so remember those four or five things and, and you'll be all right okay just remember do not step with the same foot as um, as the same foot that you throw with all right so right-handed step with your left left step with your right all right i know i'm repeating myself but um especially at a younger age a lot of my kids can't trigger that all right they they tend to throw with the same or step with the same foot that they're throwing with okay just try to remember to step with the opposite foot all right so those are the components of how to throw properly um like i said just get a wall and a ball and you can practice all day um i forgot to tell you what you can do is you can make a strike zone for yourself and all you need to do is tape like a square on the wall a square that would be about this high and this wide okay and you could get a piece of tape and you tape it against the wall and that becomes your strike zone okay so remember in the lesson before we talked about balls and strikes all right so go find a spot which would be your pitcher's mound practice your throwing and practice trying to hit it inside that square every time if you hit it inside that square that you make um, that would be considered a strike if you throw it and it hits outside the square that you made then it would be considered a ball okay so that's how how we can practice on our accuracy and how we can practice on throwing balls and strikes okay and that's all for my pitchers all right if you're a pitcher in baseball you want to be able to throw good strikes okay so good way to practice that is just simply make a square on the wall and do it that way okay kids um and then you can give yourself a limit right play a game with yourself i got 10 throws let's see how many strikes i can throw out of 10 throws okay and try to get the highest number that you can all right uh, but yeah a good way to practice your throwing strikes is that way um and that's that okay so now that i taught you how to properly throw all of those students that already know how to throw i'm going to teach you how to do a wind up okay uh wind up is what pitchers do when they uh when they're pitching okay so remember pitcher is the position that's throwing the ball across the plate and trying to get the batters out okay so uh, pitchers wind up would look like this I'm gonna mess you all up from how I just taught you but um, because we're not we're still stepping with the opposite foot but it will start like this okay so pitchers wind up is I hope you can see me good enough our feet are together okay when I go for my wind up, 
Adventures do it slightly different, um, but I'm just going to give you the general idea. Um, you take a step back with your opposite foot. So I'm going to step back with my left. I'm going to turn my right foot to the side and bring my left foot forward and kick it out. And it's going to create some more velocity, some more um, power behind my throw when I pitch. Okay, so a wind up simply uh, creates a little more movement of our body so we can get more oomph behind our pitch. Okay, some more power. All right, so once again, a wind up. Feet together, this would be the pitcher's mouth. Kind of step back into the side with your opposite foot. Then you turn that right foot. And then the same mechanics that I taught you before all apply. So the lever, the ball by your ear, your arm tucked in, okay? Um, the only difference we're doing is we're starting with our feet together. And then we're taking a step back and then swinging that same foot forward and around for a wind up okay so once again here step i don't know if you guys can see me good enough but if you can you can see i'm stepping kind of i'm not stepping straight back i'm stepping at like a, an angle that goes here okay and then i turn and bring it around okay so we're not stepping we're not starting like we do, just practicing our regular throwing like this. All right. We're starting feet together, back, turn, boom. This foot, your right foot, if you're right-handed, needs to slide this way when we come forward. I don't know if you can see that. It slides like that. Okay, if you see a step, when I come forward, slides, and then I come around and throw, okay? Um, and that's how we do a wind-up pitch. So if you want to become a pitcher in baseball, practice your wind-up, all right? Um, all pitchers pitch with the wind-up. Unless there are people on base, then they pitch from the, like this. They just go like this, they check their runners, and then they just bring their foot back and throw. The reason they do that if there's runners on base and they do this big long wind up of a pitch it gives the runner all kinds of time to steal the base okay so the reason why they shorten up their their wind up when runners are on base is so they don't give them a, a good chance to steal the base okay so um you only do the wind up when there's no runners on base if you're a pitcher okay any other time you're going to pitch straight like this like i showed you that's my catcher in the batter you just bring that leg up and come forward and that way we're getting the ball to the plate quicker so the runners can't steal on you okay um so one more time here we go wind up here step back turn boom you guys will be pitching like clayton kershaw before you know it okay um and that is how we do our wind up um, for pitchers, okay, and last thing I'm gonna go over is the softball pitch, okay, which is a completely different arm movement However, we're still stepping with the opposite foot and we're still bringing that back foot forward when we throw it, okay, so a Softball pitch softball Fast pitch a slow softball pitch is simply where we just opposite foot step forward and we we just toss the ball up in the air and it goes up and the batters get to hit it that's how you do a slow pitch okay so here for softball slow pitch step forward and we're just tossing but i'm still stepping with my opposite foot okay um however in fast pitch softball we do a wind up where we come around this way and we release the ball this way underhand okay so right here step forward as i'm stepping forward my arm is coming around in that circle okay so it's all simultaneously stepping and winding at the same time 
All right, so balls down here. I'm gonna step forward, come, arms coming all the way around and making a circle until it comes back here. And then I'm releasing it here underhand, but it's going fast, okay? So once again, opposite foot back, ball here. I'm going to, all right, see that once again, opposite foot, ball here, it's coming around, big circle around and releasing under here, okay? Ready, look like this. All right, so arm comes this way, all the way around this way, under, giant circle, and you release it underhand and man i'll tell you what some of these girls softball pitchers in the olympics and in college they uh i wouldn't even come close to hitting some of their pitches there's actually some major league baseball players that were trying to hit some of these softball pitches and it was quite funny because they couldn't hit it because the ball's rising and in baseball a lot of times the ball dips dips it's rarely that the ball rises up like that but in softball fast pitch softball the ball rises on you and it's coming up and a lot of <laughs> major league batters were never used to that and they were striking out um, to all these girl softball pitchers all right so softball fast pitch is awesome sport and um, hard to hit the ball all right so once again around and that ball will come shooting out of there super fast and you got to be quick to hit it okay so um that is the softball pitch underhand okay which there's fast pitch and there's slow pitch remember slow pitch is where you just toss it up in the air and it comes in real slow and the batter can hit it fast pitch softball obviously the ball's coming super fast and it's really hard to hit okay so there you guys go quick little throwing lesson again i know i did one last year so there maybe you can watch that video also there might be some stuff in there that i left out uh, but like I said, step with the opposite foot, arm tucked in, ball by your ear, works like a lever, off the fingertips. I want you to be able to repeat all of that to your teachers, okay? Once again, the wind up, pitch, step to the side, come around, throw, and that way for our um, softball underhand fast pitch, all right? All right, students, hopefully that uh, helped you guys out some. Like I said, make a square on the wall, go home, practice throwing your balls and strikes, all right? Um, so that's how you pitch, throw. Next lesson is going to be a fielding lesson, okay? So look forward to seeing you guys.